Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Professor Tian. I am happy to record our last unit, Unit 7. So let me share my screen with you. I have uh, three slides, one for um, Japanese modern, and then uh, Korean modern, and then I'm going to talk about Chinese modern art, and then I have a third one, um, and I have a fourth one for post-war Asian art, but your exam um, is not covering that post-war period, uh, but I just wanted to know a little bit about it. So today I am aiming to record everything in 10 minutes. Um, so that is Japanese. So hold on. We have uh, several other PowerPoints that opened up, so I found it. Japan. So everybody, Meiji Restoration is the most important event that created Japanese modernization. In a way, Meiji Restoration is an emperor-centered political system. So far, what kind of a political system did Japan have since Kamakura period? Military government, yes. Uh, samurai warriors became main political um, political actors, right? Political uh, power brokers, and then on top of this military government called the Bakufu, um, the shogun, right? The military capital shogun uh, was the de facto ruler of the country. So emperor was a nominal figure. They were not ruling the entire country. So during the Japanese Meiji Restoration, um, emperor's power was restored. So the emperor name is Emperor Meiji. So that's why it's called restoration. The political power was restored. Um, so during the Meiji Restoration, um, Japanese uh, leaders started an expedited modernization process. So uh, the restoration itself took place 1867, and that is the fall of Tokugawa family. Remember the Tokugawa? They were ruling the Japan at uh, the beginning of Edo period, right? So that's why they moved the capital to Edo current Tokyo, uh, away from the imperial palace in uh, Kyoto, the traditional capital. Anyhow, Meiji Restoration is a very important uh, term that you have to remember. So subsequently, Japan created a constitution-based um, royal uh, imperial house, imperial government. So. Um, Nominally, the center of the political authority comes from the emperor. Um, so that is a major restoration. Uh, but uh, in fact, there is a prime minister, not the military leader, prime minister who was elected or uh, during the military uh, regime, he was appointed um, and he was the de facto uh, center of the or the leader of the political system. So major restoration is something very important. So um, what is the major restoration? Um, along with the political system, the most important element is they are going to start a diplomatic relationship with the West, with other countries. Then what was the relationship with other countries before the major restoration? Meaning during the Tokugawa period or Edo period, what was the relationship? isolation. They, don't, they didn't want to trade actively. Um, they wanted to stay safe by closing their, um, their borders uh, to the foreigners. They, um, they allowed a small group of merchants to come in and they were only Dutch merchants and they only came to the small Kyushu island. Uh, but the majority of the mainland uh, they didn't allow foreigners to come in. So anyhow, uh, during the major restoration, that Bakufu or Shogun system collapsed. And then major restoration um, during that period of about 50 years, they really um, expedited westernization, industrialization. So um, 
1870s, Japan sent a number of students to, to Europe and to North America to get a westernized education, and they will come back to Japan uh, to become architects, engineers, uh, medical doctors, or uh, industrialists. Um, so you are going to see the rapid industrialization in less than 20 years in Japan. So uh, in terms of art, the most important uh, movement in Japan is this yoga style. Yoga literally means Western painting. So along with all this industrial development, they also wanted to introduce European naturalistic art movement. So they wanted to, uh, they wanted to introduce life drawing a drawing based on the real model, or illusionism, or perspectives, or architectural rendering, because those were essential skills to have a modernized industry as well. Um, think about engineering. You have to design new equipment or new machine. And uh, accurate drawing skills, very important. Um, anyhow, so um, in order to teach oil painting or European style painting, Japanese government invited Antonio Fontanesi, who was an Italian uh, but living in France uh, as a part of a Barbizon School of Landscape. So when he came to Japan, what did he do? He educated his first student, Asai Chu, and uh, with Asai Chu, there will be um, more uh, oil painters. So after Fontanesi returned to Paris, now Asai Chu and some other students who studied in Europe can uh, teach Japanese young minds. Um, so Saichu is the pioneer. And then the next important person is Kuroda Seiki. So both of them are from respectful samurai family. Kuroda Seiki's case, Kuroda is his family name, Kuroda. He went to Paris and stayed a few years. And he learned uh, plein air style painting or outdoor landscape painting uh, from French painters. Kuroda Seiki is very important. Um, so among these people who went to Paris to study, Kuroda Seiki. Um, so um, there are a number of woodblock prints. I want you to remember this woodblock prints. Woodblock prints were available even before Meiji Restoration. It was blossoming in the late 19th century, around the 1850s, because um, Edo, Edo period was full of commercial activities. So woodblock prints are prints. Uh, you have the drawing already marked on the woodblock. Then you can print the same images in a few different color sets uh, for hundreds of times. Uh, and there were markets for them. People wanted to buy this uh, popular, uh, popular woodblock print. And as I mentioned in the previous lecture, uh, the price of one sheet of woodblock print is about a bowl of noodle soup. Uh, so let's say if it's $3, they were thinking, should I have lunch or should I buy a print? They often bought print. Um, so this is an example of teaching that European style living to Japanese people because you, the westernization uh, focused in focused on uh, large cities like uh, Hiro, uh, Yokohama, the harbor, uh, and then some areas in Tokyo, the capital, and then Nagasaki, uh, the port on Kyushu Island, a few cities. So as you can see in this wood block, you have European style two-story building, like brick buildings, and some people are in traditional clothes, but some people, as you can see here, gentlemen, you know, usually dressed in the westernized clothes. So in 10 years from 1864, you already see a lot of changes 